Hi everyone, we're going to be doing quick graphs of polynomial, polynomial functions in factored form. Um, this is a real quick way to graph a polynomial function. It does not say how high it goes, how low it goes, uh, for all, but for all intents and purposes, what we're trying to see is how the behavior of the uh, polynomial function looks like. So the end behavior, that's what we're looking at first. You have to get this down first so that you can kind of graph the a polynomial function. If the degree is even, both are going to go up, the end behavior, or both are going to go down. If the degree is odd, uh, one's going to go up, one's going to go down, or the uh, vice versa as well. Well, now this is kind of hard to remember, so I'm going to make it real easy for you guys. If it's even right here, look at the right hand side, the right hand behavior. If it's positive, it's going up. If it's negative, it's going down. Um, for the degree of odd, you're looking at the leading coefficient, by the way. If it's positive, you're going up. And if it's negative, the leading coefficient is negative, you're going down. And there it is right there. A uh, simple way to look at this, I mean, you've got all these memorizations that you have to do, is just look at the degrees. If it's even, both are going up or both are going down. Odd, one goes up, one goes down. Is the uh, Saturday Night Fever, sort of. So it's going to go this way, this way, this way, or this way, okay? So this is the uh, process. Well, to memorize it really easily, if it's positive, you're going to go to heaven. If it's negative, you're going to go to hell. Uh, unless you're an atheist. Uh, then we don't know where you go, but suppose we believe in God. If it's positive, you go to uh, positive, it's going to heaven again. If it's negative, you're going to the underworld. So that's the way you can memorize it. And the right hand, the left hand side, it just goes opposite if it's odd. It just goes in the same direction if it's even. Since we have this down, I'm going to start looking at some problems here. We're going to look at two problems. Problem number one is x cubed times x plus 2 squared times 3 minus x times x plus 5 is equal to zero. Oh, wow, how convenient. It's in factor form. Oh, by the way, uh, you should know about double roots. When it's a double root, it's going to go both, going to bounce and go back up, or it's going to bounce and come back down. If it's a triple root, it's going to go very flat to this triple root and flat down, or the opposite, it's going to go the other way. It's going to flatten out and then go down. Okay, so that's the end behavior of a triple root. Single root, of course, obviously would go right through it. So, point here, it would go right through that point. Okay, so x is equal to zero, solving for the zeros of the fun function, zpp, zero product property, for short, zero product property, set each factor equal to zero and solve. x equals negative two, x equals three, x equals negative five. There's a triple root here, there's a double root here, Single root here, single root here. So let's graph it and see what it looks like. Uh, it's got a triple root at zero. It's got a double root at negative two. It's got a single root at three. And triple, uh, double root, I mean single root at negative five. So I gotta label these so that I know which one's which. What is the degree here? Three, four, five, six, seven. Did you get that? There's three. The degree here is the uh, exponent key. This is one, but it's squared, so it's gonna be adding it. Five, six, and then seven. Degree is seven. What's the leading coefficient? What's well, positive? That's the coefficient here. Positive. Oh, negative. Make sure you get that negative, okay? And positive. So it's positive cubed times positive squared times negative times positive is negative. What do we know about the uh, behavior and behaviors with the degree of seven? Leading coefficient is negative. The right side is going down. We're going, not going to heaven, sorry. And then obviously since it's odd, the right hand behavior goes up. So it starts off at positive and there's a triple root. It flattens out, it flattens out, it goes up. It's got a double root, bounces back up and then it goes right through it. Ah, I had it backwards, didn't I? Because I should have started off at lower end. 
make sure you check your work because it's gonna end up it, with a positive on the po uh, left hand end behavior and negative on the right hand behavior. So it starts to go down this way and it's got a single root, a triple root, so it goes down and it's got a double root, it bounces back up and then it goes right through negative 5. Uh, I really don't care how big these are, I'm sure they're a little bit bigger. By the way, this one, it should go straight down this way and this one, it kind of curves in a little bit. Not too much, but. So that's example number one. Let's look at example number two now. x cubed minus x squared minus 6x is equal to zero. Mm, let's grab that function, or we can call it equal to y. Okay, first we find the zeros. We set it equal to zero. Oh, we can factor out an x on all three terms. So x times x squared minus x minus six is equal to zero. X times factor this, x minus three times x plus two is equal to zero. The roots are x equals zero, x equals three, and x equals negative two. Let's see what the end behavior looks like. It's a single root at zero, single root at three, single root at negative two. The degree is equal to cubic three. So, and the leading coefficient, is that positive or negative? It's positive here. So it's going to go up, and then, since it's degree 3, it's going to follow down. So here's the way it goes right through. It goes through 3, single root, and it goes through 0, single root, and it goes through negative 2, single root. Notice the end behavior, positive on the right, negative on the uh, left. And that makes it, um, justifies my answer. Let's look at the last problem right over here, 3 x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1 equals y. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's a cubic function with, a, with four terms. Oh, you could probably factor by grouping, right? And if, as you may have learned, you have to know how to factor by grouping. x squared. Let's group the first one, and let's group the second one. So it's x squared times x minus 1. I'm going to factor out a negative here. Of the x minus 1 is equal to 0 because we're solving for the zeros. Notice that minus x plus 1 right over here. Ooh, we got another, we got this binomial right here, right here. You can factor out an x minus 1. And then what's left on the second, first term is x squared minus 1 equals 0. This one factors again, it's a difference of two squares x plus 1 x minus 1 equals 0, and then x minus 1. Using the ZPP zero product property, x equals 1, negative 1, and then positive 1. So it's got a double root right over here. So if you graph it out, here's negative 1, here's pos positive 1, a double root, single root, and the degree is 3. Leading coefficient equals positive. So it's the right hand behavior is going to go up, the left hand behavior is going to go down because it's odd. So let's start with the right, it goes, bounces back up and then goes back down because it's got a double root at one. The end behavior fits our model right here. Good luck. Thanks.